Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. So we have just got a pretty big teaser for the finals season three. Firstly, I'm going to show the teaser we got for it, which is 30 seconds long, and then I'm going to go through it afterwards and talk about what everything might mean. And Vaya recommends rebooting the whole system. The whole system, Scotty. I mean, if it's the only way to stabilize everything, if they hit that reset button... We have no choice, June. The showrunners are losing control and something needs to be done. I'm telling you, Scotty, the AI won't just sit back and let him go through with this. You mean... We built that thing. It can't stop us. It can take us anywhere. So Scotty and June are talking about something that they built, but its name is completely bleeped out when it is mentioned. They also sound worried, which is something we haven't really heard from them before. One of the final things that June mentions, with quite a lot of emphasis on it, is the line, it can take us anywhere. This is most likely a hint at what the new map is going to be. Maybe it's on the moon, or far in the past, or future, but it definitely sounds cool. It makes it seem like the new map isn't going to be something similar to the others, which is fantastic. At least that's how I would interpret it. So now for the more vague stuff. I went through the entire video frame by frame, and I tried screenshotting all of the somewhat clear images. There were more, but they were so blurry or distorted that you just couldn't really do anything with them. So in this first image, we have what looks like a tall building in the background with some type of stormy clouds on the right, probably a hint at the new map, or maybe, less likely, a new weather type. This image is actually upside down in the teaser and I had to rotate it, but I still can't really make up a whole lot about it. By the way, the way Embark does the teasers and the easter egg hunts is just so cool, and it is definitely meant to get the entire community to try and come together and help each other out, so if you have any theories as to what any of this might be, do share them in the comments down below. The next one I find very very interesting, because it looks like there's a character kind of closer to the camera, and it looks like they're also looking towards us. But then there's something else in the background, but I really can't make out what it is. But it's just very, very cool um, to have what looks like a, an, actual, an actual character in one of these images, which is something that hasn't really happened before. This looks like some type of weapon charm to me that has some type of maybe cartoony character, but I don't really know. The next one is a little clearer. There's a cash out and we're looking up towards some building with what are maybe yellow flowers in the background, so this could be a map tease. This one is just hilarious because I have absolutely no idea what I'm looking at here and I, I don't know if this is even a hint to anything. I'm sure when season 3 comes out we'll know what everything was and we'll be like, how did we not predict this was that thing and all that kind of stuff, but I could not tell you what this is. So this is very much me guessing here, but you could see this little kind of gun looking thing on the left hand side of the screen. My guess is that this could be a very blurry tease for one of the weapons we might be getting in Season 3, and I do have a little bit of proof for that uh, later on in the video. You ever wanted more mobility in the finals? Because I think that we might be getting it. It looks like there's a character here doing some kind of ninja jump, and they do also have some high-tech looking device strapped to their knee. So maybe we'll be getting more movement options. This could also be like a cosmetic, but I have some more stuff that, you know, will kind of suggest against that. Very blurry, very unclear, but we can see two yellow platforms leading off of a building and kind of a like dark sloped roof. Maybe a tease for the new map. I will say though, you can vaguely see someone at the top of the image pointing at something above, kind of behind all of that smoke, which is kind of interesting. This looks like one, maybe two characters harnessing some kind of electric power, which doesn't look unlike the tech that was strapped to the other person's knee, but this is one of the more unclear images. Now this is very, 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 very interesting. This looks like it could be Scotty and June. It definitely looks like two people presenting something. One looks like a man and the other one looks like a woman. This could be some other character too, maybe one of the sponsors or something, but I think Scotty and June would make more sense. Here 
we start getting to the wild stuff. This this is where I really start cooking. This looks like some type of flying drone, like in, in the middle of the map here, just by the sky. Also a potential tease for the map, since I don't really recognize this area, but I, I don't know what that flying thing is. It does look a little bit like um, one of the areas on Monaco, but I, I don't think it is, so it definitely seems like it's new to me. Some type of new cosmetic here, I think, either some goggles, glasses, or an eye patch. It is interesting that it's reflecting a little bit of the bluish, maybe electrical light, though. It's possible that they'd be looking at something emitting that light. I myself can't make out so much here. Two characters, one of them has a cool mask, which could be all cosmetic. I'm not too sure what they're holding, but I don't think it's that clear. From what I can see, it does look a little bit like a boomerang, but I really can't tell. Upon second look, it could also just be a sledgehammer. Like, this just could be one character holding a sledgehammer, then the sledgehammer is, like, behind, behind the other character's head, so you can't see it. But if you think that their head is, like, the end of the weapon, then it could be a boomerang. But hey, I'm, I'm really just spitballing here. Just another character. Very, very vague. Uh, can't do so much with it. But I, am, but I am going to show it anyway. If I'm ever showing images that are super vague, I'm showing them because, you know, someone watching this video might be able to do more with this than I can. This might be a new map tease, and I say that just because of how blurry it is. Normally, the weapon teases and the map teases are pretty vague, and I would definitely consider this to be vague. This one, I really don't know, um, but I, I figured I'd show it anyway, since it's not super blurry or distorted, so there you go. Now, here we go. The interesting stuff. This looks like a new weapon. It looks like a spear to me. There's definitely a character. This seems like their arm, and we don't have anything in the game right now that looks like this sword. The sword isn't long enough to hold up from the ground like that. It's not the riot shield, and it's very unlikely it's the sledgehammer. So I think this is like a spear melee weapon that we're going to be getting in Season 3. It could also be a bow, and we're just not able to see the string of it because of how blurry the image is, but... Um, it, it could be like a spear that you can throw and get back, which would be awesome. I don't know what this weapon is, but it doesn't look unlike this weapon, which is shown in the other image from before. Could it be the same weapon? The only other one I know of that looks somewhat similar is the LH1, so like it could be that too, but I think the front of the gun is too long, so maybe a new type of rifle is coming. Lightsabers! I, <laughs> I mean, this is a half joke because... This electric blue light is kind of showing itself repeatedly here, and this character looks like they're holding two, one in either hand. So we could actually be getting some type of lightsaber-esque weapon. This looks like either a katana or a spear. It could be whatever this character was holding, and there's kind of a repetition here. This character looked like they were holding this melee weapon, this character looked like they were holding this gun, and this character looked like they were holding these electric swords. The clearest image of a potential map is right here. You can see some buildings in the background with what maybe looks like a road going up to it, and that's pretty much it. Here we have a character looking at what seems to be a kind of limestone hallway of some sorts. I have absolutely no idea what's happening in this image, but I'm showing it anyway because it is interesting to say the least. I've tried rotating it in like all of the different directions that I can, and I still can't really make it out. The weapon looks like it it could be the Lewis gun, but I, I really don't know. This one was very hard to make out for me. If you thought I had already started getting wild with my assumptions, you, you better strap yourself in because it's time for giant robots. This is simply a giant robot. So there you go. You're probably going to want to crank your brightness up for this one. But here you can see a cloaked figure with what looks like their right hand reaching towards us. So maybe this is like a new antagonist that might be introduced. Another sort of area here. I, I can't really make this one out, but I'll leave it here regardless. So again, there's someone doing what looks like a ninja jump here, which we saw before in this image. Maybe a gadget or a specialization that grants movement benefits. It could also be like a passive, which is something that hasn't been introduced yet. To me, this looks like two cars, maybe in like a garage area, but that's the best I can do with it. We see Mr. Giant Robot here again, and it does look like we're in the same area as the previous image with the cars, or at least with the other mechanical stuff. Towards the end, we get a lovely bow tie image, and then we also get this, the finals logo, but at the bottom there are white lines. It almost looks like they're the white lines of a road. 
Now, there was a lot more in this teaser. I focused on the images. There was a lot of text as well, but I think the Discord community is better at the text than me, so I'll leave that to the pros. But I do want to talk about this image here, which says initializing neural pathways. Now, I'm going to take a second here to step back from this and talk about Arc Raiders. Arc Raiders is Embark Studios' upcoming PvPvE extraction shooter, and it is possible that these games are in the same universe. Arc Raiders is the real world, where people fight against AI and struggle to survive. The finals is the virtual world, that could be the training simulation for the soldiers in Arc Raiders. Now, in the most recent Nexon earnings call, this was said. So with Arc Raiders, I am sure that in the very near future, we will be able to showcase the title to the market. And the Summer Games Fest, which is on June 7th, is in fact the very near future. So we've been getting hints at the new map, as well as what could be the new weapons. But giant robots and fighting against AI in PvE doesn't really fit the finals. So I think it's highly likely that the game universes are connected, and at the Summer Games Fest, we'll get both a trailer for Season 3 and a look at Arc Raiders. Maybe even with a date for a beta. This is extremely unlikely, but Embark could also do what they did with the finals and make the game instantly playable, but I don't think they will since the game hasn't had any betas yet. But if I am completely wrong, which is also a very plausible possibility, then there could be AI enemies coming to the finals. We know that vehicles were in one of the original trailers, so we could also be getting those, but I think I've cooked enough at this point. It's pretty likely that I'm not correct about a lot of this stuff, but I thought it would just be fun to make a video like this and kind of share my thoughts on everything. It's very likely that there'll be more teases in the future, so if there are, I will keep you updated. If you're interested in getting to dissect absolutely everything in the teaser, do feel free to head to the official Discord. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be it for this video. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.